It's your girl Link getting it in, of course, all day, every day, with Chin TV, and we are with the lady of the hour, Bianca M. Williams, the founder and CEO of Be Pretty Lashes. Bianca, welcome to Chin TV. For having me, I appreciate it. I should say thank you for having us, definitely. I definitely learned so much today with your whole line and the Be Pretty Lashes and everything. I know um, earlier you um, answered most of the questions that I pretty much would be asking you, but we're just going to reiterate a few things here and there. Um, we'll start out with, um, how did you get started with this whole lash line? Well, I got started with the whole eyelash line because I just wanted something that was comfortable, you know, durable, form fitting, and something I feel like I didn't have to battle off. Because sometimes with synthetic eyelashes, you feel like you have to battle them, flip them, move them. But these were just so powerful. Everywhere I moved, everywhere I wanted to bust a couple of moves, they just stayed on and they were just so comfortable. So that's why I decided to come out with the eyelash line so I can have that feeling. And with this, these eyelashes, you get that feeling and so much more. What makes it different from the other local brand area compared to your, um, your Be Pretty Lashes? What makes it different? Mm -hmm. What makes them different is, number one, they're 1% human hair eyelashes, so no blend or no other added ingredients to it. So they're washable, they're reusable, they're pliable, they're durable, and most of all, they're light and soft. And again, not only are, why I stress the fact that they're light and soft is because many times people stay away from the eyelashes because they're so heavy and hard. So these are light, soft, durable, and again, 1% human hair eyelashes and hypoallergenic. Well, definitely what really caught my attention was the fact that, A, you said that it was 100%, that it is, not was, but it is 100% human hair, and the fact that you can wash them. How do you, wa I mean, I've never heard such of a thing, but how do you recommend um, the customers out there to pretty much wash the lashes? Okay. What I recommend is for you to I wash your eyelashes is use like a dish detergent and why i say that is because dish detergent is the purest or a clarifying shampoo just like you would do for your hair you know you know dish detergent back in the day you use that if you wanted to purify your hair so you can use that or if you have a clarifying shampoo just take it just do one simple wash do not rough the eyelash up too much just do one simple wipe over all by hand all by hand and you can use witch hazel also if you want to use witch hazel use a cloth with it and wipe it over and just set it out to dry just like here so you don't get that mildew smell you need to set it out to dry so you also have an adhesive for this have you come up with a line or i i think i've heard the rumors that you're coming out with the uh, the adhesive that adhesive is coming next and it's going to be clear and it's going to be something that's long lasting because a lot of times with that adhesive it's not long lasting so you're going to get something that's durable long lasting and you're just going to love that adhesive yep and it's going to come with the packaging so you won't have to pay extra for it now how did you get um hip-hop artist Roxanne Shante, one of the legends, one of my favorites. How did you get her to pretty much get involved with your lash line? Well, I worked with Roxanne for a while through my um, publicist, Ernest, and, you know, I was styling her one day, and I was just like, you know, Roxanne, I have this other portion of my company, which is Be Pretty Glam Factory, and we want to launch an eyelash line. Would you be, do you have somebody doing your makeup? So, you know, I just pitched to her the whole way, and Roxanne is so sweet and nice. She said, sure, I would love to try your eyelashes, and she just loved them, and then you see, we I post about them, she reposts about it, mentions them, she actually, you know, called me and messaged Ernest and said thank you so much for the service and the eyelashes. So she just loved them. And from then I knew I had something I had to just run with it. I heard during earlier during your Q&A that there's a foundation that you're pretty much starting. Let's talk a little bit about that. Okay. So I'm going to be starting the Be Pretty Teen Mom Foundation, which is very near and dear to my heart, like I was saying earlier, because I was a teen mom. I had my daughter very young. And with this foundation, I not only want to help the girls succeed and move further, I also want to help prevent it. Because, you know, being a teen mom is hard and it's stressful. And sometimes girls don't have the love at home. So that's why they think by having a child, they can have the love day. And I just want to help them and pass it on that it is life after being a teen mom. You can come successful and you can continue moving forward. So I wouldn't just be fulfilled just doing all the entrepreneurial stuff that I'm doing. I will be fulfilled helping others. And this, like I said, it's something dear and near to me. So why not start with them? You are definitely inspiring for many, many, many. And then let's talk about your 
plus size model um, line that you have a little bit? Mm -hmm. So I started with my plus size clothing line. That's how I got started in the whole, you know, celebrity world and styling and things of that nature. How that came about was because I was out of the loop for so long with fashion. Just because when I was younger, I used to sew. I used to be an apprentice underneath my aunt, and she passed away. So I figured since she passed away, I need to put down this needle and thread and call it a day. But, you know, about two years ago, the um, clothing line came about. I said, I want because I'm a curvy woman myself, so I wanted something that was form fitting. You know, something that was fashionable and affordable at the same time. So that's how that came along. Okay, let's just say the U.S., we are in the U.S. and we have to evacuate. But you are allowed one backpack. Okay, in the backpack that you're allowed, you can carry with you three items. But you're evacuating the U.S. to, leave, to go pretty much live somewhere. What would be your three items? Okay, so my three items would be um, a picture of my family. Definitely, because I didn't hear you mention that they'll be with me. So just in case they're not, I need a picture of them. I will have, you know, my identification, of course, and my products. Yeah, so people can identify me one way or another. You heard it here from Bianca, of course, getting it in with Gen TV, of course, of course. One last question. What can you give us, what inspiring message that you can give for anyone who's starting out their own business? Okay. So for anyone starting out their own business, I just say, you know, sometimes it seems like people make it look so easy, but you just, I know it's so cliche, but you, you really, really, really just can't give up. And so many doors are going to close before one of them open. And I'm still looking for a couple of more doors to open, but you just have to keep striving forward and look for your inner you and get rid of all the negative energy that's around because that negative energy will hold you back. So you just have to look within yourself and push forward and hang around people you strive to be. So if you want to be that millionaire, you need to go find that millionaire to hang around. So that's what I have to say to encourage people who want to start their own business and move forward. So you can just press that down like that. And I didn't have to cut anything at all. And it actually blends in with her makeup. How do you know from which angle to start like while applying it on her? Yes, the shorter end always goes on the inside corner. So that's how I knew this was going to be on the right side because this has like from short to long. So if you're applying it for yourself, like I know I read um, or seen somewhere on YouTube or something that you start from the center, like and just start from the center and then you kind of like... You could use your fingers, your hands, but um, for me, I like to use a tweezer at home as well when I'm doing it personally for myself. So that makes it a lot easier. Very, very pretty. I am extremely excited to be at the lounging of the designer Bianca M. Williams, lounging out her Be Pretty Lashes. And of course, sponsored by the Kamani Ice Liquor people up in here. We have Kai and we have Frank. How are you this evening? I am good. How are you? I'm doing great. Let me tell you, whatever that little shot that you gave me earlier when we were out in the hall was yeah. definitely great. I don't know what it was. It wasn't like too strong. It had like really a sweet little kick to it. Nice and what smooth. nice and smooth. Yeah. Like what was in it? It's two different kind of rums and a blend of passion fruit. Shake well and drink cold. It already comes in the bottle. So when you pick up a bottle, you don't have to add anything to it. But if you choose to add anything to it, look us up on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram and tell us what you did and uh, if we like it, we will uh, we'll share it with the world. But yeah, come on the ice. Uh, you can Google us. How long Kamani Ice been in this business for? We've been out for about eight years now. Uh, we have an LLC, and like I said, if you Google us, you'll see us. Are you the creator? Uh, I am the, I'm the CEO. Kai is actually the creator. Well, you need to come in the shot, Kai. All right, Kai, what pretty much convinced you or got you inspired to be Lounging out, well, and I can't really say lounging out because you've been in business. You've been in business for like what eight years now. What got you inspired to get into this? Uh, I started um, making it for like family members, and then I hooked up with my partner Frank and start doing it like this, bottling it up and everything, and trying to get it in stores and everything. The name Kamani Ice is my daughter's name put together, Kai Shay and Damani. Just give us a call. Uh, right, yeah, we're very popular with the uh, with with the underground. So you know, it's like somebody knows somebody. I'm looking for a liquor sponsor. Okay, I know these two guys. They go, they do come on the ice. Give them a call. And you know, we're very we're very reasonable. We don't cost you anything. It don't cost us anything. We'll work it out. 
I guess this is good. Okay, so we're definitely going to have this on camera. So the next event that Gin TV is hosting, I guess we're going to have Mr. Frank and Kai in the building sponsoring by Kamani Eyes. Yep. Do I get an okay with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get us okay. If, if you're the one who's going uh, to give us a call. Give us a call or reach out to us on Facebook, like I said, LinkedIn, Instagram, and uh, and we'll talk terms. As long as we're not booked already, because we never break bookings, um, we're there. It's all about the ladies to this evening. And I see you're definitely wearing what we are in here today. Let's talk about those beautiful lashes. Of course, I'm rocking my Be Pretty lashes. These are, are the glam lashes. So they are long and they are strong and they have got it going on. That, I mean, how do they actually feel? Because we know a lot of ladies complain about how maybe sometimes the lashes will be a little bit too heavy, and then they get, like, a bit uncomfortable. How are these? No, actually, these are human hair lashes, and I wear a lot of lashes for my job. I wear a lot of synthetic. I took these out of the box, and the first thing that I noticed was how light they are. And I actually put these on myself, and it took about five minutes. They were so easy to get on, and they look amazing, and they feel really comfortable, very light. I almost feel like I have nothing on. Nice. How did you get involved with Bianca? Well, I know Ernest, who's her publicist, and then Bianca and I sat down. We had a lovely dinner. She's such a smart young woman. She's got all this ambition. She's not just uh, creating the lashes. She's a fashion designer. She's a hairstylist. She's a mom. So this is, it's great to hear about a young entrepreneur just going for her dreams, and that's exactly what Bianca's doing. Getting it in.